Okay, so we've all heard this saying, cleanliness is next to, I know you know it, you can complete it, godliness, yes, cleanliness is next to godliness, and in this video, I'm going to be telling you three weird hacks that you can do to raise your vibration, cleanliness hacks that you can do to raise your vibration, Let, let's get into it man, I'm, I'm buffering. Bow. Hi family, it's your boy Wijanai and I'm back again for another motherfucking video. Welcome to Wijanai's Adventures, tuning you into the multidimensional frequency to assist you in aligning yourself for the divine cosmos. This channel is all about stimulating your seven senses with cosmic energies of peace, love, and positive vibranium. You know what I'm saying? Some what kind of shit? Let's get it. Whew. Now, like I said, we're going to be talking about three cleanliness is next to godliness hacks that is going to raise your vibration. For real, for real. I feel like I got a list right now, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Hopefully my enunciation is better now. So let's get it. The first one is goggling water. For real, for real. Like, goggling water, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't do it without water in my mouth. We're just gonna do it live. I was gonna do it like a B roll, you know what I'm saying? Just put it right in right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I got water right now. There's just no need to do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it! Okay, that was a fail. Good luck. <clears throat> yes, I was really good. You know what that does? That clears up your throat chakra. You know what I'm saying? Water is healing as well. So it expands your vocal cords. You feel me? It rejuvenates your lungs and everything connected to your esophagus, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So gargling water is very, very, very like good for boosting your energy. You know what I'm saying? What else do I have on my little handy note? So yeah, it unblocks your throat chakra, clears it up, and whew, the feeling, like, just gargling the water, the feeling after you just like spit that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Even it's toilet water, but if it's drinkable water, the instant you just go oh, and drink that shit dog, it's like you're washing away all those toxins, and yes, nigga, all those toxins are gonna come out of you one way or another. You know what I'm saying? So goggling the water kind of helps, like, unblock. You know what I'm saying? Your throat, so everything can then go down. So when you're peeing later on, you can just pee that shit out. You know what I'm saying? But that's if you're like drinking the water, though. But if you just like if you just toilet water, then you spit that shit out, dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink toilet water, man. Flow right in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Calcify your pineal gland. You don't want to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's move on to hack number two. Hack number two is cleaning your sexual organs. This is basic, of course. You know what I'm saying? You don't clean your sexual organ, you ain't cleaning to godliness, dog. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is how to clean your sexual organs. Because people just like... All they know about is showering and scrubbing and all these things. They don't think about it from an energetic perspective. You know what I'm saying? They don't think about it from an energetic perspective of how you should do it. Like for example, when you're taking a shit, niggas are wiping their asses with toilet paper. Toilet paper is fucking damaging to those tissues down there. Because the tissues down there are soft. They're soft tissues. Toilet paper is brittle. That shit fucks it up. You know what I'm saying? You're taking this shit, now your ass is hurting. <laughs> and we're getting a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the topic, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because shit like that is like touchy subjects for people. You know what I'm saying? People don't really get that intimate with that aspect of themselves, with their sexual organ, but they like to have sex. So you like to have sex, but you're not intimate about cleaning that shit properly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fix your mind, dog. 
for real, for real. So, how do we actually clean the sexual organs, right? The best way I know is to just take a bath. You know what I'm saying? Soak in a bath, not just a shower. Shower ain't cool enough. But if that's all you got, then that's all you got. You know what I'm saying? But with me, like, in this place I'm in right now, there's no bath, there's a shower. But what do I do? You know what I'm saying? I do a little magic spell ritual. You know what I'm saying? I get some coffee. Coffee is very good for like clearing up your energy and building energy. So in the shower gel, I put a little bit of coffee in there, I put a little bit of rose water in it, you know what I'm saying? Mix it up, put some water to dilute that shit. And then voila, you know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's the gel why I be using to clean myself while I'm showering. But then we can also talk about shit like when you're peeing, for example, you know what I'm saying? When you're peeing, for example, then the better way to do it is, of course, you, you can say you can use tissue paper for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Then you just wipe off the tip of your penis, you know what I'm saying, if you're a guy, so that there's no leakage at the top, you know what I'm saying, and vice versa. I don't know about females, how y'all do your shit, because I'm not a female, clearly, you know what I'm saying, but... Y'all as well wanna clean your shit down there after you finish peeing, bro. Whether you do that shit with water or you do that shit with some baby wipes, you know what I'm saying? I don't advise using tissue down there for your females, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and back to wiping your ass type shit, you know what I'm saying? Baby wipes, yes, fuck tissue paper. You either do it with water in your hands, you know what I'm saying? Some people are like, oh, that's disgusting. Bitch, you're gonna wash your hands with soap afterwards, nigga. It's your ass, boy. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to go down there and clean that shit, who's going to do it for you? For real, cleanliness is next to godliness. God ain't going to judge you for putting your hands down there just to get make sure all the shit is out. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Or, better yet, if you don't want to do it manually like niggas be doing in Africa, then you could go get some baby wipes. I be using baby wipes these days, you know what I'm saying? Because I got it. It's an option. So why not? Baby wipes really work. They work magic, in fact. You know what I'm saying? So I be using baby wipes and then I get the little bag in the fragrance bag and I put that shit in there, tie it up, put it in the bin. Done. Done. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, baby wipes, that's for your buttocks. You know what I'm saying? And then we already know when you urinate, you already know how to clean that. I already spoke on that. You know what I'm saying? What else? What else am I thinking about? When it comes to cleaning your sexual organs in your body. You know what I mean? Ooh, I had an idea that just flew out of my mind. But I don't want to move on to the next till I really cover this one. Mm. Eureka! I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I figured it out. Right. So, when you finish, like, urinating or whatever, you also want to clean your abdomen. Because that is your dantian, right? That's what they call it in the Taoist philosophy. But it's your energy bank, basically. It's like your power plant, your storage station of where all your sexual chi and your, you know what I'm saying, life force energy is stored. You know what I'm saying? Your backup generator, basically, that power plant. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you urinate, you release a lot of electrolytes, you know what I'm saying? Like static electricity in your urination, right? So you always want to make sure you're cleaning your abdomen so that you're not releasing too much electrolytes, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? So by you like using water to clean your abdomen, it kind of like stabilizes. You know what I'm saying? It's like hydraulics, coolage, right? You know what I'm saying? You need to cool the power plant. That's basically what the water does after you urinate because your urine is hot. You know what I'm saying? So you want to use some water? I'm making so much sense right now, man. If you guys are overstanding and understanding and understanding everything I'm saying right now, do me a favor right now and like this motherfucking video this instant. Like it this instant. I'm waiting on you, nigga. You liked it? My nigga, my wiggle. I'm just having fun, guys. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get back to it. And vice versa for your females, man. Make sure you're cleaning your abdomen when you're urinating. You feel me? And um, yeah, keep shit down there clean, man. Because your females, like, if you don't take care of your body, especially with females, with guys, they don't have to worry too much. Because it's a fucking penis, bro. Like, how much more cleaning can you do? You know what I'm saying? After what I told you already. 
But for your females, I can't tell you really what to do because I'm not a female. But y'all gotta do your shit like thoroughly, bro. Like for real, for real. Don't get musty now, you know what I'm saying? Don't get musty now. And make sure you're using like oils down there as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's not dried out. You know what I'm saying? You wanna put some oil, some virgin oil, you know what I'm saying? On that, just get some type of oil. I don't know what type of oil you wanna get. Just get some type of oil down there, bro. Like for real, for real. It's gonna save your life. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But apart from that, what else? What else, really? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah, let's move to the third hack. Now, this third hack is very controversial. I don't know how niggas are going to react. The females that I be telling you, don't get musty down there. You might be like, if I don't shower, then I'm going to get musty down there. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Over showering. Anything to an extreme, overdoing anything is detriment. Is a detriment. Like, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be falling after that one. You know what I'm saying? But the thing with over showering is us as human beings, we have our own bacteria. You know what I'm saying? We have our own terrestrials that protects us from the extraterrestrial beings outside. You know what I'm saying? The diseases, the stress. We have our own bacteria, white blood cells that help us fight those shit up. But when you're over showering, it's like your natural oil and your natural bacteria is like you're washing them away every time. Especially your niggas that be using all these products and all this lotion and all this bullshit they be selling to you in the media and shit like that. You be using all this scrub and it be artificial. Make sure if you're using any type of like body soap or lotion or whatever, make sure it's all natural ingredients in that shit, man. I can't stress enough how this shit is gonna save your life god damn it you know what i'm saying but over showering to an extent is it's not good bro because it's like you're just washing down all those natural oil and then you have nothing to fight against even the weather for you know what i'm saying now you got fucking body temperature disorder bdt shout out to pilot man you know what i'm saying shout out to dolo the pilot man for real for real archinger uriel told me about that shit so we know the only type of sickness you can really get is just based on your temperature. And that is why over showering can fuck you up. Because then you're washing away all your melanin as well. You're washing away all the sunlight you get. Even before the lycos are able to digest into, intelli into intelligence and intellect and giving you all these downloads. It's like you wash them away down the drain. Or should I say you rinse them away down the drain. You know what I'm saying? When you're showering, stupid. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm just having fun, guys. It's my Aries rising, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going for you, bro. I'm trying to motivate you out here. It's my Aries rising, man. I'm just being funny. This is me having fun, guys. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't attach too much to the labels. Because I just had to put like, a little bit of disclaimer. Because I feel like some niggas finna get triggered. <laughs> so, back to what we were saying. Yeah. The thing is, like, Overshowering, right? People don't even think about the mindfulness and the purpose of showering. Everything in reality is a ritual. Everything has a purpose. But people are like zombies these days. Due to the fact of like society standard bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta shower every day. You gotta be clean every day. You gotta look right every day. First impression bullshit. Shut the fuck up, nigga. The only first impression you need to worry about is the first impression from yourself. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Anyone else, fuck the judgment. The judgment don't mean shit. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm giving you the biggest game. You know what I'm saying? And you might be asking why. I already kind of explained why overshine is not, is not beneficial. You know what I'm saying? So you always want to shower on a purpose. When you feel like, oh, your energy is getting dirty. Or you just feel like emotionally fucked up, you know what I'm saying, like, you feel emotionally disturbed, you know what I'm saying, or you feel physically disturbed, or mentally disturbed, you know what I'm saying, when you feel, like, clouded or some shit like that, then that'll be the perfect time to go take a shower, because that's cleansing, when you feel tired and fatigued, and you feel like you've been building up, what do they call that fucking acid, lactic acid in your muscles, and your muscles are feeling like, oh, like, sore and shit like that, boom, a shower is gonna help you relieve that, if you take a bath, a bath is even better, you know what I'm saying, Soaking that bitch, releasing the stress. That is the purpose of 
showering and taking a bath, you know what I'm saying? But it's not for you to do every goddamn damn wash your fucking energy down the drain. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got enough oil in your fucking skin and now you're dried out like a motherfucker looking like a mummy out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real shit. <laughs> How did I make that connection? <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, guys. Because I'm really passionate about this shit, man. Cleaningness is next to godliness. For real, for real. So, uh, that's pretty much the whole hack. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much the three-word hacks. You know what I'm saying? Three-word, weird, weird. Am I saying that right? Three-word hacks. You know what I'm saying? That you can do. You know what I'm saying? And utilize to raise your vibration. Now we're going to talk about some cleanliness tools that you can apply with these hacks. To just take this shit to the next level. Because I'm always going to give you like practical shit to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't one of those niggas that just speak out their ass and it's all about light and shit like that. And they don't back it out with the subconscious. You know what I'm saying? They don't back it out with some real esoteric wisdom and practicality out here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Number one, tongue scraper. Tongue scraper just helps you with the whole goggling, goggling process. Cause the first thing when you wake up is like all the toxins rise up and they're on your tongue. So first thing when I wake up, I don't drink water, I don't eat food, I don't do nothing. I barely even speak, bro. The only thing I do is like my affirmation. The only thing I speak is my affirmation. After my affirmation, I'm silent till I scrape my tongue and get all those toxins out. When they're out, then I brush. You know what I'm saying? That shit clean, got white teeth, I chin, bitch, you already know how we do this shit, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, then I can, you know what I'm saying, drink water or whatever else. Because now there's no toxins going back down. You know what I'm saying? The toxins already been released out using that tongue spray, bro. Brushing alone don't get it all out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Brushing alone don't do the job. I'm saying you trying to brush without scraping your tongue. You're sending some of that shit back down, man. You do, and you're scraping that shit, bro. No, get a tongue scraper. It gets everything out. One swoop, two swoop, three swoop. You're good. You know what I'm saying? Number two, free fluoride toothpaste. I'm gonna tell you, bro. We already know what fluoride does. It it decalcifies your mouth. I said decalcify. It calcifies the fuck out of your pineal gland. So for you to be able to release and decalcify your pineal gland, you need to start brushing your teeth with free fluoride toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you're doing breath work. Breath work will clear that rub. And on top of that, another cleanliness hack is washing your sinuses. I forgot to say that. But you know what I'm saying? Just putting water into your nose. And washing up your sinuses and blowing it by cow type shit, you know what I'm saying? That's really good for clearing up your pineal gland, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, clearing up your mind's eye, you know what I'm saying? Now your visualization is stronger, you know what I'm saying? Your sense of intuition is stronger and insight, you know what I'm saying? You start to get all those downloads and you're so much in tune with the divine realm, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that is also a very powerful thing to do. Uh, I already talked about baby wipes. That's the next two on my list. Baby wipes and poop bag. I already talked about all those. Sh and then number four, we have essential oil. You know what I'm saying? Essential oil are very good, man. You know what I'm saying? They just help you, like, equalize your energy. You know what I'm saying? They help you equalize your energy. Like I said, oils are very important to our skin. Our skin is the largest organ we have. You know what I'm saying? So oils are very important in moisturizing the skin and having everything flowing. Essential oils also really help your emotion because it's to do with moisture and moisture comes from water. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Utilizing essential oils, you know what I'm saying? Like lavender, putting lavender in your bath water, you know what I'm saying? That's why shower sucks, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could barely use my essential oil due to the fact that I have to fucking shower and stop taking a bath but once i get back to london i can take a bath all i want you know what i'm saying let's get it so yeah um essential oils plain lavender or eucalyptus or frankincense whatever one you have putting them in your bath water you know what i'm saying but if you can do that then you can also just like put them in your palm like rub rub on your chest you know what i'm saying on your neck area you know what i'm saying 
And you know, you know what I'm saying? They are putting on like your posters and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You said that the, what do they call it? Is it called osmosis? You know what I'm saying? Like the dispersion of air particles can just like project that into your auric field. I'm actually so smart, god damn it. That's my verbal mood, bro. It's just like, I'm just downloading all this shit through my feelings. And then when I see it, my Gemini ass ego just start gassing up. Like, I do that shit? Bro, how you sounding so smart? Was we always this smart? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, universe. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, virgin ass moon. But anyways, yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoy this then you already know what to do. Don't forget to hit that motherfucking like button, punch that subscribe button, and then turn on post notifications so you get notified when we deny is back in the channel. To all of us staying clean and staying godly, to us I say, believe and succeed now, nigga. Get it!